Hello, P4. Welcome again in our Math for class, and this is Miss Claire. We are now on Chapter 12. It's all about length, mass, and capacity. In this video, you will learn more about length. The learning objectives for this lesson are to choose and use standard metric units to understand the meaning of kilo and centi, to use decimal notation to record readings, to convert between units of measure for length and to estimate and measure length using standard metric units. I know that you are quite familiar with this lesson because I'm sure you learned this one during your math degree. So before, are you ready to learn? Come on, let's start. In measuring length, these are the common unit of measurements used. We have the millimeter or mm, centimeter or cm, meter or m and kilometer or km look at these pictures which of these unit of measurements is suitable to use to measure the length of a bed the length of a pencil and the distance of the road try to figure out children and share your answers during our zoom meeting now let's go to millimeters and centimeters this is a centimeter ruler. So from the distance children from 0 to 1 is what we call centimeter. So this is 1 centimeter. Between 0 and 1, there are small markings. So there are 10 small markings. These small markings here is what we call millimeters. So 1 millimeter, so from 0 to the first marking, that is 1 millimeter. So this one is 10. So 10 millimeters is equal to 1 centimeter. So how about if only 1 millimeter? 1 millimeter is only 1 part out of 10. So that is 1 tenth centimeter is 1 millimeter. So if we convert this into decimal, this is equal to 0 0.1. So, 1 millimeter is equal to 0 0.1 centimeter. Now, let's try to convert the length. Okay. The length of this red ribbon is equal to 6.5 centimeters. So, what is the length in millimeters? So, remember that 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So, 6.5 centimeter is equal to 6 centimeter plus. 0 0.5 centimeter or if we change this into fraction is equal to 5 tenths now 5 ten centimeter is equal to 5 millimeters so if we change to millimeters that is 5 millimeters so 60 plus 5 is 65 millimeters so we just multiply the 6 centimeters times 10 and that is 60. how about this one look at the blue ribbon this blue ribbon measures nine centimeters eight millimeters so what is the length if we only use centimeters so nine again this is our conversion so nine centimeters eight millimeters is equal to nine cm plus eight tenths centimeter let's convert this into decimal and that is equal to 0 0.8 centimeters therefore the blue ribbon measures 9.8 in centimeters another this is a green ribbon the length of the green ribbon is 84 millimeters so what is the length if we use both centimeters and millimeters so 84 millimeters is equal to 80 millimeters plus 4 millimeters. So let's convert the 80 millimeters to centimeters by dividing it by 10. Remember, 1 cm is 10 mm. So if you have 80, that is equal to 8. So that is equal to 8 centimeters, then 4 millimeters. So that this is our answer. 8 centimeters. 4 millimeters. 
So that is between millimeters and centimeters. Let's go to centimeters and meters. Okay, and then we have here a ruler. So from zero to one, that is what we call centimeter, one centimeter. If we have 100 centimeters, that is equal to one meter. So when we say centimeter, it means to say one part of a meter or one part of a hundred. So centimeters or centi children means hundred. You remember hundred means one part or out of 100 equal parts. So when we say one cm, it means 100 meter. So if we change this into decimal, do you remember? Yes, this is equal to 0 0.01. So 1 cm is equal to 0 0.01 meter. Don't forget that. Okay. I have here a pencil and a belt. Okay, let's convert the length to meters. Okay. So the length of the pencil, as you can see, this is 15 centimeters. This is cm, so this is 0 to 10, that is 10, but this is in the middle, so this is 15 centimeters. Let's convert the 15 centimeters to meters. So, what is the length in meters? So, how? Remember that 10 centimeter children is equal to 10 hundredths, 10 hundredths meter or 0 0.10 m or 0 0.1 m. So, if you have 15 centimeters, that is 15 hundred meter or 0 0.15 correct so 15 cm is equal to 15 hundreds m so this one means 15 parts out of 100 so this one if we convert this is equal to 0 0.15 meters okay how about this one take a look our tree the tree children measures 342 centimeter right so this is the height of the tree 342 centimeters so what is the height of this tree in meters okay so 342 centimeters is equal to 300 centimeters plus 42 centimeters do you remember how what is that what is the equivalent of one meter so centimeter that is 100 so if you have 300 how many meters yes that is equal to three meters and this one the 42 is 42 hundreds meter then let's convert this into decimal and that is equal to 0 0.42 so let's just add 3m plus 0 0.42 m and that is equal to 3.42 meters so the height of this tree from centimeters to meters is 3.42 meters okay let's go to kilometers and meters so which one is longer okay look at this picture look at the distance from pam's house to the market the distance between her house to the market is 4 kilometers, 550 meters. So, if we change this into meters, so how? So, children, when we see kilometers from the word kilo, it means thousand. So, kilometers means a thousand meters. So, one thousand meters is equal to one kilometer. So let's convert the distance, this distance, 4 kilometers, 550 meters to meters. So again, remember that 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So if we have 4 kilometers, that is equal to 4,000 meters. Then let's just add the 550 meters and that is equal to... 4,550 meters. So this is quite far from Pam's house to the market. How about this one? The distance between Pam's house to the school. So the distance, children, is 8,030 meters. 
So what is the distance between Pam's house and the school using kilometers and meters? Remember that one kilometers, one kilometer is equal to one thousand meters. So eight thousand and thirty meters is equal to eight thousand meters plus thirty meters. So let's just change the eight thousand meter to kilometer. So that is equal to 8 kilometer. So, 8 kilometer and 30 meter. So, this is the distance if we use kilometer and meter. So, children, that's how when we convert kilometer and meters. Okay, before, that's all about length. On my next video, I will going to discuss about mass so stay tuned and thank you for watching this video i will discuss more about this lesson during our zoom meeting always remember before to stay safe and healthy god bless everybody and have a great day